This book is called Pie in the Sky. It was written, and all the artwork was done by, Lois Aylert. In our English language, the phrase pie in the sky means some dream that's probably never going to come true. But Lois Aylert was a very creative woman. She took that phrase and turned it into a poem and an artistic um, investigation into where cherry pie comes from. So that's her picture, Lois Aylert. You can find out a little bit more at her author's page from Simon & Schuster's company. And we'll see how her book works. On this page, the beginning of the book, there's only big type. On the next page, there's more big type, but then there is little type. The big type tells the story, and the little type is a pattern poem that's all about observing what's there. Let's start from the beginning and see how this works. This tree was here when we moved in. Dad says it's a pie tree. I see a blue jay feather with black stripes and a white tip and a green caterpillar with a yellow band and an orange false eye, but no pie. I've never seen pies growing on trees. Wouldn't that be something? I see green grass, red ladybugs, red brown bark, and a blue green dragonfly, but no pie. The birds sure sound excited. I wonder what's going on. I see a robin's rusty red breast and white speckled throat, a gray catbird with a black crown and tail and purple violet clouds in a pink and orange sky but no pie. Uh-oh, now I see. I see brown cherry pits, red wingtips on cedar wax wings, and white rings around Robin's black eyes, but no pies. It's a cherry feast. I see orange-breasted orioles, black spots and tips on butterfly wings, and ripe cherries, and a bright blue sky, but no pie. But hey, raccoon, save some for us. I see a raccoon's black mask, black toes, black nose and eye, and the lime green glow of fireflies, but no pies. At last, Dad says it's time for us to pick cherries. I see gray wings, a black and orange tail, a yellow beak, a silver gray pail, and a blue fly, still no pie. We're going to make a pie. First, we wash the cherries. We squeeze out all the pits and save the juice. Then we put the cherries in a bowl. We add the juice, flour, sugar, and cinnamon and stir it with a spoon. Next, we mix the pie crust dough. We roll out two crusts and press one in the pan. Then we pour the filling in. We add the top crust, put the pie in the oven, and wait for it to bake. Now, Dad cuts the pie. He puts a piece on each plate. Wow, that was the best pie I've ever eaten. I wonder if the birds would like it. 
the end. And on this page, Lois Ehlert gives special thanks to all the people who helped her. Most of them were from Door County in Wisconsin, where they grow lovely cherry trees, lovely fruit on their cherry trees. But this illustration that is in the shape of a mitten has tiny writing on it that was not part of the poetry in this book. This is a recipe. It says, press a round crust edge with a fork to seal. Cut design into crust so steam can, es can escape while baking. Preheat oven to 450, bake 10 minutes. Reduce oven to 350, bake 35 to 45 minutes until brown. Pretty good recipe, but you need a much older brother or sister or a grown-up to help you with the baking of a cherry pie. And anyone who knows about Wisconsin knows that the lower peninsula of neighboring state Michigan is in the shape of a mitten. This shape. So the capital city, Lansing, is right here. The biggest city, Detroit, is right here. At the tip of the thumb of the mitten is Port Austin. Right here, where the thumb and the other fingers kind of meet, is Bay City. And this is Traverse City. This is where cherries come from in the state of Michigan. No state grows more blueberries, and no state grows more tart Montmorency cherries than Michigan. Right along this Lake Michigan shoreline is all the good soil for growing cherries, especially up near Traverse City. Working with collage and cutouts and paints and all kinds of media, the artist Lois Ehlert designed this book, did all of the artwork, wrote the text, and embedded her own poetry in this book, Pie in the Sky, written by designed by, and artistically executed by Lois Ehlert, Caldecott Award-winning author.